Hello everyone and happy Valentine's Day. I'm so glad you came to visit with me today. Um, I'm going to show you a few different things that I'm doing. Uh, the two Roxy challenges that I haven't shown you so far, number four, five and six. I have my fairy journal I need to show you. Uh, it's, it's being worked on. <laughs> Let's put it like that. Um, I have these beautiful little images from uh, Ginger ginger journals I believe they are on Etsy and I'm going to cut those out and put them through there I've also got some envelopes I'm going to be putting through the book and I have this image to go on this fern cover I love that see it's got like a fern there I had to figure out what I wanted to do uh, where my pages need to be I'm going to tab bound this so I've went through and put a few of the little fairies in here where I'm going to put them. I've made some things into uh, pouches or pockets. Uh, some of the other images that uh, are in here are just from some of my paper pads, but others are from uh, Wonders by Wink on Etsy. It's uh, Kyung's uh, fairy garden uh, kit, digital kit. And they worked in very nicely. I also took some from one of her other kits. I love these trees. Um, but I have to go through and finish off these edges and do different things uh, to it before I can actually tab bound it together. And what I'll do is I'll get it mostly together <laughs> and then I'll come back and show you the last couple pages, I think, and how I did it. And then what my future plans are for it. Now here, this is Roxy's Weekly Challenge, number five. It's Narrow Collage Stamp Tags. And I've got some over here that I've already done. They're kind of grungy. <laughs> I don't know if you like grungy, but they just kind of turned out that way. But you can see I had a, an envelope from a recent swap. And it already had butterflies stamped on it. You can see the bag from Kentucky Fried Chicken. This is the top of the colonel's head. <laughs> but you can see I also stamped on them. I took music pages, book pages... The bag, the envelope, um, oh, there may be something else on here, I don't know. <laughs> this one I actually have a rub on from the Dollar Tree. It was really hard to get on there, so I haven't really put any more. But the ferns are what I'm going to be using today. Um, I also did some uh, stamping all over them of different things. I have some text stamps and butterflies and all these little ferns and jars and things, but... They turned out kind of neat. I, I try to make them kind of nature-y with a bunch. Uh, and I also have rub-ons. You'll see I've got the Tim Holtz rub-ons here. I used my um, tea bag uh, strings, leftover strings, on most of these. The first few I didn't. I had uh, scraps I left, used for that. But you can see kind of how they worked out. And then these are the journal cards. So I'm happy. I got a bunch of them done. There's a vertical one, but I really like that pink in there, too. But today I'm going to make a couple of different ones that are not going to be so grungy. <laughs> They're going to be for the fairy journal, and I'm going to make them vertical and very tall vertical. I'm going to split right down the middle. So I've got a few different stamps here I'm going to be using. Um, this one doesn't want to stay in that one spot for me, but <clears throat> I'm using Rusty Hinge. And... I don't want a black black on here like I did on there because that's added to the grunge look. I want it to be sort of a warm brown. And I love these birch trees. And I'm going to have one of the stamps that will be for the forest area of my book. And one will be for the uh, pond area. <laughs> yes, I've come up with a whole story, whole, whole storyline for my little book. I've, I'm going to be telling you a story as we walk through <laughs> oh gosh you know how it is i gotta do something like that oh so we're gonna put the forest on this side and push that down i've got mostly thin copy paper weight on here which is what i prefer but i, I wanted to do a lot of pinks because that's a pink section so i've got a few pieces that are actually card stocky size and I'm really hoping that they'll work and uh because you know you when you get to a piece of cardstock like that it does not that didn't go on too well did it 
it does not want to I'll tell you what I will be back I'm going to go over here and get my uh, uh, what do you call it wait a minute the word I was looking for was archival <laughs> my archival ink let's see if this does a better job and I hope it's not going to hurt my pad that I went over this uh, little bit of ink here I think it's only when you go over oxides that it really affects your pad from pad to pad so I think you're safe when you go from ink ink to ink <laughs> now the, the the true skill will be coming uh, trying to match these right back up again and what I do is I wiggle wiggle I know I went to the very bottom okay let's try that push it in hope everybody <clears throat> has a, had a good day and are going out to eat yum 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 i'm hoping that's what my husband wants to do with me today um he'll have to work more than likely but he gets off at two he works up 5 a.m to two. Oh, i don't think i could ever do that i'm a late late stayer upper <laughs> i like to i've always liked to stay up late i get some of my better ideas or i just rest in mostly lately I've been crafting at night. <clears throat> I like to craft then. Well, that turned out a little better. <laughs> kind of looks like it's got a shadow. But I don't go all the way up, do I? Hmm. I might have to do something to fix that. Let's see. Let me try a little, <clears throat> little inky dink here and... I'm going to try to match up those two and come on up. Let's try that. See if she works. And then my trees will go all the way up to the top of the tack. All right. I've done this before. Um, usually I'll, I'll do them one at a time. <laughs> but not all, all of them at once. Well... It looks like I'm going to be using <laughs> both of these colors because these aren't going to work otherwise. There we go. Let's put a little rusty hinge over it now. Let's see if she turns out. Oh, that is a darker rusty hinge than <laughs> before. <laughs> All right, let me get off here and try to fix this. All right, sometimes you actually just have to take it off and lay it down. I had to do this lower section and then just push it in. And I had this one little bump right there. It would not accept it. So we fixed that. Okay, now I want to get this cleaned off real quick because I think Oracle may stay on your stamps. I don't have anything to clean with except these. Yeah, Oracle is one of those, I guess, because it's... Is it... I thought it was like maybe it's waterproof, so it may be oil based. So I got a feeling that's why it's, it doesn't hurt your stamps, it just stains them. So they're kind of uh, always brown or whatever color you've chosen to use. But that's okay. I might find something to clean them off better later on. That's good enough. Uh, you don't want to have to watch that. I think that's the only thing I needed with a long. Uh, stamp pad now this here I've got a little forced ferny kind of a thing I'm trying to figure out where I want to put him and I probably want him in a darker like a green all right let's see what my little dewdrop northern pine isn't that appropriate let's see what that does I love these little dewdrops I have so many colors of them I think you could get a pack of hmm is it 12? I think it's 12 because I got two packs and the other, I think there's two more packs since the time that I purchased these and I purchased them a while back. <laughs> it was when I started doing all this and that was back January of 2021. All right, we're putting this right here. I want it to look like the ferns on the base and they're coming up. These are pretty cool little stamps the first ones were from may may it was vinnie's fave but these are from hobby lobby i think but you get little advertisements on it and little numbers and 
There's one with Paris and Frenchy kind of words. <laughs> Frenchy. I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I thought that was kind of pretty. Yeah, that turned out really nice. And then I have one with a really big fern on it. I want to try to use that one over here as well. Oh, well, the fern, that's right. The fern is going to go for the other area. But let's try to use some mushrooms as well on the other side. Now with these these trees, they have little branches, little tiny branches, and little birds can sit on the branches, or uh, squirrels, and I'm not going to go into all that. <laughs> Just, I wanted some tall trees. Okay, let's see what this little thing does here. I think we're going to make it mostly for this other tag, so let's move it over. There we go. And I needed something with a little bit of height. I'll probably come in here with a little text stamp. This is a little different style than I did on the other one. So, you know, it's it's kind of like whatever you want to go with. Now, the other stamps I'm going to work with are... Where are they? They're block stamps. <laughs> what did I do with them? <laughs> oh. There's a whole pile of them. I have all these different block stamps. And I forgot to show you, I'm all over the place today. These were some of the pockets and other little paraphernalia in the uh, fairy garden kit by Wonders by Wink. And I'm going to cut them up and put them in our, the journal eventually. Okay, the fern. Yes, the fern is going to give me a whole lot of mileage here because it's tall. I love this fern. I'm sure I got it at a Hobby Lobby. That's where I get a lot of my uh, block stamps. Once in a blue moon, I'll find something at Michael's. But it has to be on sale. <laughs> and I got these when they are usually on sale. Okay, I stick that right there. These other ones I got from somebody long ago. And... Um, there are a bunch of little fairies. I'm going to see if I can get them on here. This is one of those you can't pull up and put down again. <laughs> it's like one one is it. One lay down and you're done. Hmm. I think I'll put that one right there. I need something right there. Okay. Let's see if I can... It's like a little wildflower is coming in from off the side there. Yeah, there we go. And I have a castle. I don't know that I need that in this session. Um, this one is two little, uh, two little cupids. And I think it kind of looked like I could do a corner stamp if I can get this area to work. Now see, I just did a bunch of collaging. I didn't think you needed to see that. But this is actually a doily. Pieces of doily I had left over. This was a tag that I printed out on copy paper. Some of this other was from a paper pad I had. Uh, this was a digital. Um, so was this. So, I mean, whatever you have that would work. Um, here's another little fairy with a bird. This little fairy, she might have to be done. I might do her on something separate because she's got a lot of fine detail. And then I've got this fairy, who is a magic fairy, it looks like. <laughs> well, she'd be one for up in the air there. Let's try that. Oh, I just, I had so many plans for the fairy journal. That's why I got chose. It got chose to be the next one, and then more than likely, the mermaid is going to be the next one. All right, let's see if I can get her down here. Oh, and see if she'll come out, because she's going over a lot of those cardstock pieces, where those edges are going to make a, a mess up of the actual stamp. And I'm pushing pretty hard. <laughs> Because once she's down, I can't pull her back up and do it again. <laughs> All right. Oh, well. See, her face is kind of... But oh, well. I will take a little pen 
a little bit later and I'll dot around to connect those lines. I figured out how to do all that. Okay, these little fairies, I don't know if I'm going to use any of these little guys on here. This one, he's, he's a little bird. Ugh, I don't think I'm going to worry about all that. Let's go into the script stamp. Okay, and here's my some of my favorite script stamps right here. I love this, you know, unnatural curve to the way that one is. So let's see if we can get that one to work. And you know, I just... I threw my stamp block back there. <laughs> I was thinking I was done with it. Okay, let's try this one. And these I got... What was it on? Shopping Network? Look, I didn't... It's Crafter's Companion. I thought I'd cut the, the name off, but I've got... When I first started, I was doing cards, and I've got quite a few things in Crafter's Companion. Some inks and such, and I mean, some of these things will go to town. They'll go forever. So, I'm using this one. It's got the odd, and I'm still using my Northern Pine Dewdrop. And we're just going to go on here. Now, if you wanted to blot this off first, you could. I think I'm going to just put mine right here and see what it does. There. It gives you something else. It's it's giving you another layer. It's giving you something to kind of bring your attention to. Um, so it, it really helps with your situation. And especially if you mess something up. I think I'm going to go maybe over here and do this one right there. And see, I didn't press as hard that time. I probably got a little bit more on here. So let's try down here. You can do second and third uh, generation stamping as well and get much, see, much lighter. Oh, that is a whole lot lighter. Um, I'm also going to do a little bit up here at the top. I'm not going to just barely kiss it. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit right here above his fairy. Yeah. Now I may go in here with the other one and just kind of do this smaller area here. I don't want the whole gigantic stamp. I just want that little bit of the other one. Okay. Oop, let me get it straight. <laughs> and I'll go in here over this purple flower. About right here. Yeah, and I think it needs a little bit. Well, maybe I can get it off of here with my second generation. Well, nope. <laughs> nope, it didn't come off that time. Let's try again. Oh, yep, a little bit more. Have it. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I don't think I need any more. Clean the stamp off with, and I've got just a face wipe. This is a a makeup cleaning wipe. You get it at oh, Mart for, what is it, 99 cents? And I just go through them. And then when they dry up or I can't use them anymore, I will make them into my little nasty cloth <laughs> that I'll wipe the glue off with. Okay, so let me stick this one over to the side. And we're going to go over and cut this now. That's the next step. Okay, I've got them, The I've rounded the bottom pieces. I always like to do that when they're going to slip in somewhere. And I've got my cutter here, I mean my, my template for my corners. And I don't, I don't think I want that big one, but I may go for it. I'm not planning on putting a topper in these tags because they're so tall. And I did do the backs. I forgot to tell you about that. I had the backs done uh, with just a neutral, so you're able to write on it, but it's still something decorative. And it was just from a paper pad I had, and just I've been keeping them all in a box over there. All right, I'm curious. What is your favorite part of these Roxy challenges? Is it participating in them, or is it watching how many different versions <laughs> of the same challenge that can be taken out of from each one of the um, makers 
I, I'm interested in knowing. And now I'm going to go back in here. Leave me a comment below and let me know your thoughts on it. I had somebody comment the other day about, you know, how many different ways uh, it can be done. It just It's just in the mind of the beholder, the maker. And let me clean these off. My tags are done. That's what they look like. I don't know. Some some people may think those are a little busy. Oh, yeah, they could be. But they're going in a fairy journal. So, all right. So, that's that challenge. Now, I'm going to show you what I've come up with for the Week 6 Document Holders uh, Challenge for Roxy's Creations. And mine are... I have to think in the way of what makes sense. So what the deal is for me, I want something to make sense if it's going in my journal. So my idea around this is that it will be little pieces. Like there's a doily. There's an old receipt from a courthouse visit. <laughs> there's a music page. I've got a piece of my tea dyed paper in here. I have an old... Uh, pharmacy bag that they could turn into something. I have a piece of newspaper that I had copied off to, to print or <laughs> copy something off of there. And then here was a thing from Arnie Mays. And it had a bunch of receipts and stuff on it. So all of that is going in here. And then my outer piece, which is a little more sturdy, is a piece of map <laughs> from Cincinnati. Um, so that's how this is going to be all assembled. And I liked her version of where you just, you're going to tuck these under and then you're going to tuck them all under that part. And she did two holes up here. Now, I got to thinking about it and I think I would rather do one hole and I'll show you why. And I will take this and move it to the side just until I get the hole done. I got to figure out where it goes first. Okay, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's going to be right on that line if I can center that. And I'm going to just, because everything is butted up against the top. So one, one hole and one security will do. Now she had um, brads that she put into hers. I've got another idea. <laughs> and everything I'm putting into this. It's going to be something that you're going to be able to use in your in your journal. It's to be taken and put in your journal, and you're going to be able to do something with it. Now let's let's see about folding this first. That was going to be the interesting part because I have quite a few layers here that are sticking out, and I don't know how bulky this is going to be. This may be just an item you would hand along with a journal that you're doing. And um, then the person can use it as is. You've seen those uh, do-it-yourself journal kits, haven't you? We're actually going to take and figure out where this needs to go and bend right there. Because, <laughs> because I think I need to fold it this way. It looks like it's going to bow up on me. So we're going to bow bend it this way first and then go in the other direction this poor old map <laughs> we went to cincinnati and went to the zoo went to see the clyde's didn't know that wasn't cincinnati we went to uh, a haunted uh hotel that's what we did it was very interesting downtown cincinnati got to see some fossils i love fossils oh. all right that just that just clears that okay and then whoops <laughs> I already had a, a, a wrinkle in my map so <laughs> it's not wanting to uh, work with me okay so I only want to have it go up to that hole because I need the hole available <laughs> for my idea <laughs> all right so we're going to re Oh, and the more stuff you put in it, the, the bulkier it's going to be. 
but my idea for this, I'm sending it to somebody that can use it in their journals. It's not going to be a, a one set piece. Now, see, it's under five inches, so it would go in a pocket or in the front or, or whatever. Okay, now my idea for the hole here, instead of doing a brad, I have chosen to do, and I'm giving her a dangle. She's going to get a dangle along with it, and she could turn this into some kind of a uh, piece in her journal. She can take a bulb hook, which I may put a bulb hook on here, and i got to get it through there first. Let's tell you what, I'm taking these and helping thread it. There we go. And I wasn't going to waste a, an eyelid or anything else in here. I was just going to do it just like this. <laughs> it's taking me forever, isn't it? Okay, now I wanted it tight enough. That's why I didn't do it beforehand. Because this is one of those little cheapy deep kind of strings. Now is that going to... Yeah, I think it'll work. What we're going to do is we're going to stretch it around. Oop, I did it the wrong way. <clears throat> I'm supposed to have it go through this way. Okay, now we're now we're cooking. Now, and what this is going to do is it's going to come around here. You're going to thread this through this hole here, and it's going to dangle. <laughs> it's sort of dangle, and you can cut off your excess. And if I get it in the right spot, it might just stay there, and it will. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, my idea for another thing here is. To decorate the top. Now I don't need the paper clip no more. It's history. Now I have to have my little paper for some inking. And I think I may have just enough left in my glue stick here <laughs> to do a couple more passes. Yes, I do. All right. So I'm going to go from here over. And you can see this may tell you where I got this bag. I like to use these bags for the back of, um, to the back of tagging, uh, journal cards. Uh, I think that's what I used on those grungy ones I had over there. <laughs> Here's the rest of her face. <laughs> Poor little girl. Uh, I could have went across there with this first and then punched my hole, but of course, you know, I don't think of that. <laughs> oh. It just doesn't work that way in my mind. Okay. But you know, I'm going to do it. Whoops. Hold on. Okay. If you know me, <laughs> you know I couldn't take that. So I had to go all the way across. All right. So what we're going to do here. We're going to put this little collage I put together, just some scrappy things and some Tim Holtz curator pieces and that and the other, and we're going to put it right there. Uh, she's She decorated quite a few of hers, and my idea here is my recipient will be able to take this and use it in her journal. She can tear it right off of here, and it will be usable. She's going to get two. Here's a little tinier cluster, has a little butterfly stamp I made a while back, and more of those little pieces from the curator set of Tim Holtz. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where to put my glue. And I, the reason I put that paper bag behind it was that's going to be a good base uh, for any kind of journal she puts this in. It's going to blend in, in other words. She can ink it, or she can just leave it as is. All right, I think everything is down. I don't need to make sure it's all the way down, but I might want to. There we go. And to top it all off, to help keep this closed, a little heart paper clip. I just got it at Dollar Tree the other day. How do they work? <laughs> I think this way. Oh my goodness. There we go. Now, isn't that cute? It's like... A little journal of, uh, what do you call it? A journal uh, <laughs> making kit in a in one little fell swoop. 
anyhow, um, thank you all to all my follower friends who's come to visit and for putting up with me. Oh, I had a few things to show you. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Here's a few things I've been working on. I made a few more of these crazy little, um, what are they, uh, challenge three or four? I think they were four. <laughs> yeah. And um, I have a tag in the top here. And it's just plain tag. All of these were plain tags inside. But this is that thing you wrapped around the page in your journal. So you had a tuck here. And I forgot to put me a little thumb bowl. And then you had the pocket on top. And it's a little decoration. It's a pretty little Victorian lady. And it says, always striving. These were some little thank yous that I made to send out to some of my great, great responders on my YouTube channel. They're always commenting, and I'm going to send them out a little goodie. Okay, so this is another one. I did put the thumb pull in that one. And this one's all in blue, and she's also got her little card inside. It matches her colors. Might have needed to cut that down a little bit. I didn't do anything to the back. They could write on that part. Um, and then it's the purple lady, and I've got some doily on a few of the pages. I got some different uh, trims and things. I also left that one blank. Here's the little tuck side, and then she's got a little purple card. So, and then the other thing I did was, oh, what? There's one more of these. <laughs> Uh, this one's a little on the uh, gothic side, I believe. <laughs> I did a little rub on that I had left. I did a little bit on my, my pieces that I had from cutting this down. I made little journal cards. Here's more of that bag that I told you I put on the back of a lot of things. And it's got uh, a skeleton head and a mushroom over here. A few little things on this side. And this, oh, this has a blank side. <laughs> I might need to put something on that side so it's not visible. I'll think about that. I'll see what I need to do. Okay, and then I made more of these. I think this was challenge three. <laughs> I just, I needed one for my travel journal. So I went ahead and got one made. And see, it's just a pocket. It says, yeah, I can't remember what you called them, but they're pockets. But I had a few of these chipboardy pieces left over. And I bought a bunch of stuff when we went to Alaska in 2004 and I never used it. So I made it that. Oh, here was another one of these. But this was actually for my Americana journal. And I went to somewhere, Dayton, Ohio, I think, and got a bunch of these things from the Air Force Museum. And so I decided to use them. I got a bunch of stickers. And this is my little Tim Holtz girl holding her flag. And then I've got this back here. It's got a flag in the book. <laughs> And uh, who then is free? The wise man who can govern himself by horse. Okay, well that is all the up-to-date little goodies that I have done lately. I hope you enjoyed uh, what I showed you. If I gave you some ideas, you might uh, think to like <laughs> if you felt like it. But um, I really appreciate everybody coming. Just coming to spend some time with me is enough. Uh, thank you so much and everybody.